Hello and welcome back. This is Steve of Coins, and I have a note video for you. It consists of three banknotes. Three banknotes. Let's get them there. The two of them are old English banknotes and the third one is an even older French banknote. Yes, I'm doing my bit for the Anton Cordial. So, let's first of all start with the French note. It comes from a time where they would have been fairly stressful time for them. This was produced during the wartime period and was certainly used during wartime period. I think it was produced about 1941, maybe just either just before or... 1943 this note was produced. It has a picture of a young lady. I am not 100% sure who she is. I've not been able to find that out at this moment in time. It is a five franc note. As I said, from a time where they were going through a very unhappy period. And uh, during the wartime, it has around it a floral border with five written in the top left and bottom right corner. And it comes from the Bank de France. On the other side, and this is why I picked up this note, it gives a serial number of 39329, but the important thing is it's got there in, in written down a single font, which is five track. But the important thing, you do have the lady's portrait again, and you do have the a background of rolling hills. But this cartouche in the centre has been overstamped. And it's been overstamped by a group of people who have been written off in history as being rather nasty set of people, the Nazis. It has the eagle, and inside of it it has the swastika, the cause of the eagle is holding a swastika that's in a cartouche of its own. I believe it's a written cartouche, I can't make out quite what the, uh, the, what the words are. So this has been, when, whenever uh, France produced notes, now I don't know this, whether this is actually one from the northern part of France that the Nazis occupied, or one that was produced in Vichy France, and then sent up to uh, occupied France. But it certainly has the uh, occupation uh, marker on it which is, it can be a bit chilling knowing that these notes were probably handled by people that we we wouldn't want to know in modern day world, the Nazi people who were occupying Germany at the time. So from a historical point of view that's very important, certainly to me, as, I'm, as I like history and enjoy history so much. So that's the first note. The second note is this actually written on. Yes, it is. This has had her Majesty the Queen's. It's a, it's a, a blue five pound note, large size. It's the original one going back from the 60s and early 70s. It's actually got the number 55 written down across the Queen's forehead, uh, which is not ideal if you're collecting notes, but this is, this is the only copy I have of this type of five pound note. You have cartouches in the top, in the bottom left and top right, both containing the number five. It has the Bank of England written on the top, obviously, and then you, it's a dark blue colour, blue and dark blue, and even the greyish blue colours. The Queen is picked out in a blue cartouche, there are, there is one signature, I'm not trying to work out who it is. It's Ford, J.S. Ford, who was a cashier who signed it. And you have all the no normal sort of thing for the five pound note on the front. On the back, this is why it's one of the other ones, you have Britannia in a flower-like cartouche. You have the five pounds in two different style cartouches in the top 
right and bottom left and the note on the back has a blue overall uh, tinge to it so that's the five pound note again if I got a better copy a better not copy a better um, standard of notes then I'll replace it this one is a more modern twenty pound note let me just take it a little bit there we go twenty pound note you have the twenty pound and top left and top right well, you have 20 pound top left and 20 in the top right you have a more modern portrait of her majesty the queen it's a purple note or mainly purple with some greens and oranges in the watermark is a, is a watermark of her majesty facing to the right as you're looking at the note on the face the back is Edward Elgar. I have to uh, take a quick look at that. It is Edward Elgar who is the composer. That's all he, again unfortunately it has been written on the back in two places. In the one place it's something that I wouldn't really want to see on a banknote and the second one is up here. Now this one isn't as bad for me in particular because I happen to like his books it is a £20 note that has been signed by Geoffrey Archer. Now this is a give me. I bought a book on the internet of Geoffrey Archer's that was a signed edition of his. And this banknote was inside with the signature on it. So it's going to go into my collection. Something a little bit different. And it's going in mainly because of this signature Geoffrey Archer on the back. So we have three banknotes, two of them British, one of them uh, going through from pre-decimal to de uh, decimal type notes and then of course we have the occupation of five franc. I'm going to end the video here and say to you if you're having a hunt I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying stuff wherever you're buying it from I hope you can get it for the price that you want to pay. Next an appeal from myself and that is if you've enjoyed this video would you please give me the thumbs up and also consider uh, subscribing. In doing one or both of those actions you will improve my algorithm as far as um, YouTube is concerned and I make no bones about it. I would love to grow the channel and also have you along as a subscriber to my videos in the future on coins, banknotes, collectibles military the sort of those are the sort of things that I'll be showing you over the next 18 months to two years or that is what I have in mind to show over the next 18 months to two years in the meantime until we meet up again on this channel which I hope will be not too far into the distant future from me tada now bye bye